So settling in the blocks here with the American record holder, Michael Johnson, 43-18. That stood since 1999. We're 25 years removed from that performance. And Michael Norman getting himself out well here to start the race off. He's in lane five. Yeah, great start for him. And that's Bryce Deadman inside of him, who's actually making up some ground. He's in a good position. You have the best athletes in front of you. So you want to take advantage of that while not using too much energy. Yeah, Mike Norman got to about the 200 mark. And like Ryan Benjamin he shifted a gear so he is about to get into the lead the question is how much more does he have to come home with Sean Bailey of Jamaica out there in lane six but now Michael Norman in the middle of the track and he's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the reigning U.S. champion Devin who fades at the end Vernon Norwood closing well there for second 44-55 for Michael Norman as he takes a victory and the legends of the sport look on in appreciation not quite as fast as his 44-21 opener but I think he'll be very happy with that I thought he was a little lethargic Sonia yeah. in the first half but he looked good yeah, I mean, for Michael Norman, really, it is all about confidence. I feel that the more he wins is the more he'll be able to let go and get back to his best running. And this was a really good field. And so for him to come out here and to do what he just did, I think the best is still yet to come for this young man. I'm really happy to see him tapping into that potential. And there's Vernon Norwood, who really has a good run, as well as Karani James in the final phases of the race. But big win for Michael Norman. I know that he felt a lot of confidence after seeing what Rye did. He wants to come out, too, and have a big win. Yeah, he opened his season late because he's been dealing with an injury that has not really gone away. But this is the best he's felt in quite a while, and it shows. Wearing that signature headband, Michael Norman makes quick work of one trip around the oval here at Drake as he takes the victory in 44-53, and he's now with Lewis. Well, Michael, we saw really a gear shift at 200 meters where you really took off. Kind of take us through the race plan and how things worked out so well. Yeah, I mean, after taking a year off of running, um, kind of have to find that rhythm again and figure out, you know, what areas that need to be improved. Um, I ran my first race at Oxygen Invite two weeks ago, yeah. and just trying to make some small adjustments uh, while under a heavy load, so yeah. it's been pretty good. Speaking of a heavy load, there's always heavy expectation on you from yourself, and I'm sure from the outside. How are you managing this Olympic year and what you expect from yourself this year um, just having a great support system uh, fiance family yeah. coaches and teammates they pull me through when I'm at my lowest and they pull me through when I'm at my highest so um, they're great to be around Michael turn around and look here you've got some track and field legends here Michael Johnson Danny Everett Steve Lewis these guys who are all masters at the 400 yeah. what does it mean for them to be here watching you as you continue your journey in the sport and in, in this event uh, it's great. I mean, I'm just here to carry on the legacy of strong American forward runners, and I'm, I'm here to bring home gold this summer. So um, it's exciting. I'm happy to see him. You guys heard that. He said he's bringing home the gold, right? Yeah. All right. I'll let you hang out with him. Congratulations, and we'll see you on down the road. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much. Legends, that would Paul. Still be legends. A pretty competitive 4x4 four four. as they celebrate the win here. Michael Norman wins the 400 meters in Los Angeles.